This video will give you remedies for concerns with tractor mower leveling and mower quality of cut concerns. We will start with six common issues that are easy to resolve. Warning. Before doing any of these procedures, remove the ignition key and unplug the spark plug from the tractor engine. The engine should be at full throttle when mowing to get the fastest blade tip speed. There is a notch in the throttle movement at the position for the fastest engine speed. Always run the engine at the fastest speed when mowing. The tractor ground speed should be adjusted to the position that will give you an acceptable quality of cut. When the grass is longer or thicker, you will need to go slower. Each time you mow, the ground speed could be different depending on the height and the thickness of the grass. With a manual transmission, you will have to clutch to shift gears, but keep the engine speed at full throttle. If you are mulching, you should minimize the amount of grass being cut at one time. With tall grass, this could mean making multiple passes with the mower at different heights. The first is the highest, or transport position. If you exceed the amount of grass the deck can process for mulching, the quality of cut will suffer. Proper tire pressure is critical for achieving the best quality of cut. Adjust the tire pressure to the maximum PSI rating on the tire sidewall. You should use a tire pressure gauge with a maximum pressure of 16 to 24 PSI. A tire pressure gauge with a maximum reading of 45 PSI or more will not have the acceptable accuracy at the 10 to 14 PSI range. Most digital tire gauges will have acceptable accuracy. You should check the position of the gauge wheels. The gauge wheels on the deck should not be on the ground when mowing flat surfaces. These wheels are designed to protect the deck from irregularities in the ground being cut. To adjust the gauge wheels, place the tractor on a level paved surface. Move the attachment lift lever to adjust the mower height where you want to mow. If necessary, remove and reinstall the gauge wheels so that they are slightly off the ground. The quality of cut can be affected based on the condition of the tractor blade. First, always remember to wear protective gloves. The blades will need to be changed if they are worn, bent, or dull. Examine the cutting surface of each blade. There should be an edge on the blades. Also, look at the wing of the blades. If the wing is worn down, the grass will not be properly lifted up while being cut by the blade. The blade should also be straight. New blades should be installed if any of these conditions are found with the blades. Blades are expendable parts which wear with normal use. They are not covered by the warranty. You can also check your owner's manual to see the procedure for blade replacement. If you are not comfortable with changing the blades, you may call 1-800-659-5917 to schedule a service call. If you have made any adjustment from the previous six steps, you should now do a test mow with the tractor. If the performance of the tractor and quality of the cut is acceptable, you will not need to go any further.